This is the final experiment of pH 3451, the normal modes in a rigid cylindrical cavity experiment. In this experiment, you will study the behavior of standing wave modes in a cylindrical cavity. Our experimental hardware consists of an aluminum cylindrical cavity, which allows you to move a microphone probe in the Z direction, the radial direction, and the azimuthal direction. It also allows you to move the entire chamber left to right so that you can move the location of the drive speaker, which is located under here. We also have this microphone with its power supply. The output goes to a preamp, which we only use for filtering purposes. And that goes into an AC voltmeter and an oscilloscope, which will allow you to monitor the waveform. We have a function generator here, which goes to a power amplifier, which drives a loudspeaker, and a voltmeter here to monitor the loudspeaker drive voltage. The cylindrical cavity consists of an aluminum chamber. We have a microphone. And we have a sleeve here, or a probe, that the microphone slides into. It's got a little stainless steel tube here, which goes down into the chamber. And it allows us to, by moving it up and down, to probe the z-axis of the chamber. The microphone can be moved from the outside to the inside, so that allows us to probe the r axis. And the entire chamber can be rotated, which lets us probe the azimuthal angle. Here's a view of the inside of the chamber. So you can see how the microphone probe moves up and down in the z-axis. We have a one inch compression driver, which we use to excite the normal modes of the cylindrical cavity. We screw an aluminum end cap onto the driver. It has a little stainless steel tube sticking out here. And we can attach a piece of flexible tubing onto that. And then we'll place the driver underneath the chamber and this bottom plate has a little tube here and we'll just slip this flexible tubing onto that so that the driver is connected to the chamber. We're going to start the experiment with the microphone probe placed at the outside of the chamber. Also the probe is at the top of the chamber and the loudspeaker is over here 180 degrees away from the microphone. As you can see, the markings here are in centimeters, so we can measure R in centimeters. It's in centimeters here, so we can measure Z in centimeters. And there's uh, degrees markings out here, so we can measure the azimuthal angle.